What's going on guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and welcome back to another review against Barnsley. But before we get into the video, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel to never miss any updates. So it's finished, Blues 1, Barnsley 1. This team is slowly getting worse and worse under or Cranker. We need to improve. We are playing this boring football and we are not getting any results whatsoever. But I don't think anyone will be complaining if we're playing boring football and actually getting results. But in the first half, Blues were absolutely awful. We offered absolutely nothing going forward. I don't know how Barnsley didn't score like three or four goals. However, Sanchez looked lively in the midfield, but I don't understand why he is playing on the you know in central midfield or when he's a winger. So we started off playing a 3-5-3 formation, matching Barnsley's formation and yeah we just changed the formation once again all through the maps so the players basically don't know what formation they are playing. So in the second half Blues took the lead in the 55th minute by Scott Hogan which was from open play so that is a positive and Scott Hogan scores his second goal of the season. But then of course we sat back and played defensives so then we invited pressure off Barnsley and yeah they just ended up equalising from a penalty. And in the second half we brought on three substitutions bringing in on George Friend, Ivan Sanchez and Jeremy Bella. I don't know why Jeremy Bella isn't starting but Blues went on to concede another Barnsley goal in the 84th minute However, I do think both of their goals was quite lucky, you know, they had a penalty which was very soft and yeah, the um, the Barnsley second goal was quite lucky, I'd say. But now I'm thinking, after that game, is it time for Karanka to go? He clearly doesn't have a plan B and if we keep playing this style of football, we are going to be in a relegation battle. We're also having like four or five shots a game and only like one on target. It's just not good enough and not and it's just so annoying to watch. But we need to play Alan Halalovic, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. But he will be so key to this team. He'll can bring, you know, experience and cr create more chances, bring bringing the ball up to them strikers so they can actually have a shot. But anyway guys, are you Karanka in or out? Let me know in the comments down below. So I'll see you guys next time. Keep right on.